Just gonna do a quick video. I know there's some interest and in lots of people do this. Um, it's a it's a neat style, uh, something to have in your repertoire. It's called high style. It was, you know, probably done by a lot of people over a lot of time. Um, but the the world record holder um, presently that goes by Gray Owl, I think. Um, kind of developed it for quick reloads. Um, but anyways, I'll just do that a little bit. Alright, so you can see you can be accurate with it. Um, I'm not quick at this at all, but uh, one of the advantages is um, you can reload quicker. Because you just keep the balls in your hand and you just throw them in place. And really, the the world record holder, he's got a whole routine um, th that he does where he pulls back to a certain distance and kind of pulls into his shot at the same time, a little bit like D guy from from our side of the ocean uh, has told us before. But it's it's also a bit different. It's very rhythmic. Um, and uh, one of those cans just fell, but uh, anyways, um, it's it's a very interesting style. Uh, it's also he always looks at his target, and when he's reloading, he's not looking at his bands, so they twist up every once in a while. But there's also a technique he uses to kind of let the bands adjust themselves um, along with his load. So I'll show that a little bit. All right, so after he he shoots like that. He lets his bands go down and kind of swings around like this and see chances are they'll adjust themselves just like that. And then again, reload. Uh oh, that was way off. As I said, I'm not very proficient at it. But uh, anyways, so again, Another thing he does, Nathan Masters actually showed me this um, a couple years ago. But if your bands are twisted, you can slide them out. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. But in a down position, doing that, well, let's see, I'm not having any luck with it right now. But you can scoop them out and at least feel where they are so you know how many turns you got to have to go back like that. All right, so um, I know this is all jarble, but I didn't script it, so <laughs> just kind of going through it. Um, so he does all that. The world record holder that is great, Al. He does all that in one thing. So it's it's shoot, come back with the bands down, and then scoop, and and then he's got his his thumb like that, and he just puts the ball right there. Now. Um, oh well, that knocked both of the other ones off because they were kind of leaning over on each other. Now the the uh, the other thing, like I said, is he he never takes his attention off what he's shooting, so he's always there. And you're gonna get twisted bands every once in a while. But the thing is, that was that pole sitting up that, there about an inch wide. You can still you can still shoot with twisted bands and because they use the the lighter bands and the thinner bands along with how it's tied at this very very tiny pouch um it's still fairly straight for me i don't know if it's my technique or or the twisted bands but it seems to want to go away from me every once in a while but that was that was about as straight as you can get if you hit a inch wide post so anyways that's high style as I understand it um, like I said there's people that can do it also with the little tubes uh, the Chinese guys I've seen them do it and they're very quick and they come back to their face like this all in one motion and just wipe out wipe out and then there's one this other guy he's really awesome uh, my understanding is not very accurate but he holds his ammo like this 
and he's got little tiny tubes so this isn't going to translate well but um he holds his yeah i can't even do it but he's really good at it he's probably using uh fatter ammo too so it's not so fidgety but he just he he holds his ammo like that catches his pouch and just off like that like on and on but he's like phew, phew. And it's pretty cool man um but uh yeah so there's some there's some other stuff now that everybody's kind of you know at least giving these thinner lighter setups a try that that you can also add to your repertoire and it, it all teaches you know even um even what you're not i mean i'm pretty much dead set on the anchor point at this point but i still like to learn the motions of other things because it, it it informs your ultimate um your best or your your most consistent stance and shooting as well um always learn you know you gotta always learn <laughs> peace y'all have a blessed day